Okay, you guys are probably a little bit confused right now for a couple reasons. A, I never really go to like established campgrounds like this. And B, uh, you clicked on a truck camping video and I'm setting up a canvas wall tent. So let me just clear the air real quick. This canvas wall tent, I'm not gonna be sleeping in it. I am still gonna be truck camping. And the reason that I set this up is because obviously, well, right now it's not too bad, but today is a rainy, stormy day. It was even snowing a little bit earlier. And the meal that I have planned is a pretty large meal. So I didn't want to stand outside and cook in the elements. So I set up this canvas tent because I thought that it would be nice to just cook inside and chill inside while we have these not so great conditions. And the reason that I'm at an actual established campground is because I don't know if you saw, but there is actually a table that I'll be utilizing inside of the canvas tent. And the meal that I'm gonna be making has a lot of different parts. So the more counter space, the better. I do have another table that you guys will see in a second. So that is why I am here at the campground and I set up the canvas tent. This campground actually doesn't really have its own fees necessarily. And what I mean is if you have the Washington State Discover Pass, which is one of the many state forest pass here up in the area, um, this campground is completely free. So you're paying for the pass, but it's an annual pass. So technically you're not really paying extra for the campground. So it's kind of a free campground, which is awesome.
All right, guys, I'm just about all set up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started cooking. Tonight, we're making something really exciting. I'm making fried chicken and waffles. Now, honestly, I have never even had chicken and waffles. I know it's like a staple and it's a very popular dish, but I figured that today would be a great day to do it. It's a rainy day, it's stormy. We're in the canvas tent, gonna get a little bit cozy. So what says cozy like chicken and waffles, right? Come on. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, it was a little bit of a hassle and a process to get everything all set up. And especially in the rain, everything was just a little bit, I don't know, it was, it's not exactly the most fun process, let's just say that. But in the end, everything is nice and organized. And I know that this cooking experience is just gonna go that much better since I have all of this extra table space and I'm inside and not outside getting rained on. First things first. <sighs> the first step is we are going to make a brine to soak the chicken in. So into the brine, we're gonna be using some buttermilk. I don't know why I could only find 1.5% milk fat. I couldn't just find normal buttermilk. So we're using this buttermilk. We're using some sugar and some kosher salt. Quarter cup of salt. The quarter cup of sugar. The sugar, salt, and the buttermilk. For the chicken, I'm gonna be using these drumsticks. To the brine, I'm just gonna do probably, I'll do three three drumsticks, probably won't even eat them all right now, but now we're just gonna let that soak and hang out for about 30 to uh, 40 minutes. So while that's soaking, we're just gonna go ahead and leave that in our fridge, AKA our cooler. In the breading, I'm gonna put onion powder, chili powder, garlic powder, crushed red pepper, black pepper, paprika, corn starch, and of course, all purpose flour. Just gonna dump that flour right into that bag. To the flour, we're gonna add all those ingredients we just combined, and also some cracked pepper. Next, I'm just gonna whisk those up. All right, so we have our whisked eggs. Those are ready to go. And we have our breading flour mix also ready to go. So while the chicken soaks in the brine for a little bit longer, I'm gonna go ahead and get the waffle mix ready. For the waffles, we got our flour. I'm gonna go ahead and add some baking soda, our sugar, and of course, last but not least, our salt. In a separate bowl here, I'm gonna be adding one egg and some milk. 
whisk that together. I'm also going to add a bit of oil. I would add butter, melted butter, but I don't really have that efficient of a way to melt the butter, so I'm just going to use oil instead. All right, guys, while we wait for the chicken to soak in the brine for just a few more moments here, I do want to take a quick minute to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Mizen. Now, if you have been following this channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love cooking. It's a passion of mine. And not only when I'm out here camping, but also when I'm home as well, I just love to cook. A lot of the cookware companies are crazy expensive and Mizen does a great job at bridging the gap between high quality and reasonable pricing. Now, specifically, Mizen just reached out and they sent me this absolutely beautiful Dutch oven. And this Dutch oven is what we're gonna be using when we deep fry the chicken tonight. And the cool thing about these Dutch ovens are A, like I said, with all of Mizen's products, it's very affordable when compared to the other high quality cookware. And this Dutch oven is no exception. It is beautiful, it's very, very well made, it's extremely durable. There's also extremely good heat retention and heat distribution. This is just a top notch Dutch oven. So I'm really excited to use this to cook us up a really delicious meal tonight. Another really, really cool feature about the Mizen Dutch oven is there is a couple different lid options that you get to choose from. Now for me, I got this guy, which if you look at it on this side, it's totally normal lid, but then you flip it over and there's actually a, like a grill surface material. And that's awesome. We're gonna be using this to make the waffles actually. I don't have a waffle iron, so I'm just gonna be using this like griddle surface to get some nice grill marks on there. The other option is just the traditional normal lid and it comes it comes with a handle on top. Right now, if you go down below and click on the link in the description box, you can actually get 20% off of your order with promo code YENCH. That's right, 20% off of your first order with promo code YENCH at checkout. So once again, thank you to Mizens for sponsoring this video. Just gonna line this baking tray, with some parchment paper, some egg wash, flour batter, and our chicken. We are going to Take the chicken and just place it right there. Salt these guys up a bit. This is the flour mix with all the seasonings that we prepared earlier.
going to be a big, ugly waffle, but it's going to taste good. Right, how are we going to flip this? Oh. Woo! Come on. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> it's more like a pancake than a waffle, to be honest. Oh, yeah. She ain't pretty, but she gonna be tasty. Oh yeah. To be honest with you guys this is this is looking kind of gnarly I would expect nothing less from chicken and waffles right I guess let's just dig in we're going on a run tomorrow that's for sure <laughs> we'll try some of the waffle first oh yeah the waffle is really good. It might look a little burnt or whatever, but it's really, really solid, actually. It tastes good. We're all curious to know. Oh, my. Mmm. That is some good fried chicken. No more. No more, that's too much. I couldn't help but to think that some of the chicken wasn't fully cooked. Because I've never made this before, but I used the, uh, the thermometer and the internal temperature was all good, so it definitely was cooked. It's just, I feel like it's a psychological thing with chicken because with chicken it's more, it's more critical and crucial to have it fully cooked if you don't want to get sick, so. I think it's just like a subconscious thing, but. And now, the aftermath. I did my best to clean everything up and get organized as much as possible, but all of that is probably gonna need an actual washing, which I'm not gonna do right now. It's getting really late, so I'm just gonna go migrate over to the back of my truck now. That, that was a mission. Oh man. Feels good to be back in the truck though. It's 
kind of late, but I'm not too tired, so I'll probably just I'll watch a movie for a little bit, and then, and then we'll see if the sound of the rain puts me to sleep. See you in the morning. Good night. It uh, looks like it snowed out. Yep, that's snow, all right. Well, judging by the looks of it, it seems like we got a pretty decent amount of snow. And I remember pretty late at night waking up and hearing rain. So that means that the snow crept in really, really early in the morning or something. I don't know exactly, but we'll hop out here pretty shortly. We'll take a look around. I've got to pack up the uh, the canvas tent and everything inside, so that's not going to be fun in the snow. I have a feeling the, the canvas tent is going to be really, really heavy because it's going to just be really wet and not, not pleasant, and I'm not looking forward to it, but it is what it is. It provided us nice shelter last night from the rain, so I guess that's just the trade-off of utilizing it. Looks like it's snowing right now. Well guys, we actually ended up getting a pretty decent little amount of snow here. It's like a perfect amount for it to be very, very pretty, but not like a nuisance with the amount of snow, if that makes sense. Um, I'm just gonna do a little walk around the campground real quick before we start packing up, just to enjoy this very pretty snowy morning. Now there is some water over here I want to show you guys real quick. There's just something like so magical about a snowy river. I don't know what it is, but I know that we could all agree. It just looks so insanely pretty. And we got really lucky. We got really lucky to be here for this beautiful weather. Everything's right where we left it. I'm going to hang out for just a moment here and then I'm just gonna start packing up because, well, it's time that we just get going. It's getting a little bit late and I've got stuff to do today. So I gotta put all that away. Woo! And then I gotta put this beast of a tent away. Thank you. 
God. I hate that thing. That canvas tent was like, it was so difficult to put away. All the weight of the water and the snow absorbing into the canvas material, it just made it so heavy. And it had gloves on, so everything was just, it was an absolute nightmare. That was like the worst, the worst experience while camping. But that's okay, we got it put away kind of. It's still a complete mess. I didn't I didn't successfully put it away, but we, we made it work. We threw it in the back of the truck, so we're good. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys like always for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. Y'all go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life, beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Peace.